gentlemen, please welcome the intrepid Johnny Grave, who will also be back with us on February 28th for the Clara Barton Sessions. Johnny Grave, um, I'm from uh, I'm from right here actually. I'm from uh, Silver Spring, only about a, about four miles away from here. Um, so welcome tonight. Thank you all for coming out. This is wonderful. I'll give you guys a gospel number. This is from uh, Mississippi John Hurt. Ain't nobody here, man. I'm gonna walk it for you. 
it got walked that badly for your sake. Can't you hear my sweetheart calling? Say now who will go and work today? Feel our ripe harvest wind. Now who will be that shield away? My father had a walk that lonesome valley. He had a walk it for himself. And ain't nobody here, dog, gonna walk it for him. Ellie had a walk that valley for himself. Walk a while. a song that I uh, that I learned when I was about uh, 16, 17 years old, somewhere in there, and I haven't stopped playing it since. Um, how many of you guys, all, all 20 or 30 of you, how many uh, of you guys have heard of uh, Robert Johnson? Okay, good, wonderful, good. Um, those of you who don't know, this is the, uh, he's the, the, the so-called king of the Delta Blues singers. He's a... Uh, Born, born likely in 1911. Uh, no one's sure exactly where he was born. There's no birth certificate. There's no grave either. Um, no one knows exactly how he died. Um, but there's there's two known photos of Robert Johnson. There's two photos. There, and one one photo is, is very well known. It's of him sitting, very well dressed in a suit and and uh, and and got a very fancy hat off to the side. And he's sitting on a stool in a studio. And he's got a very expensive guitar, a Gibson guitar, in his hands. And he's he's got his one leg crossed over and he's smiling with a hand in an impossibly complicated chord shape like this, just sort of grinning at the camera. And the thing is, what, well, Gibson guitars saw the they saw the, the guitar in the photograph, and they thought, oh, he's playing a Gibson. Let's let's release a, a Robert Johnson signature model Gibson guitar. And the thing is, Gibson guitars cost a lot of money, and even even back in those days, they cost a lot of money. Um, there's no way he could have afforded a Gibson. Not in his lifetime. There's no way he could have afforded one. Um, so the, the guitar in the photograph obviously was not his guitar. He played uh, He played Stella's. He played um, Oahu's and Silvertones and Harmonies and K's. And he also played Kalamazoo's. 
um, Kalamazoo Guitars is a subsidiary, is a student line. It was a um, it was a, a cheaper model uh, that, that Gibson Guitars made in their in, in the same factory, the same factory in Kalamazoo, Michigan. Um, and the reason I bring all that up is because there's a second photograph of Robert Johnson, and he's holding a different guitar, and he's it's a the, the photograph is very tiny. It's about the size of a postage stamp. Very very tiny photograph. Um, the guitar he has and the, the Gibson guitar he has in the other photograph has 12 frets to the body. This one has 14 frets to the body. And the, the guitar in the second photograph is very clearly a, a Kalamazoo guitar. And I only bring that up and tell you guys that story because this Kalamazoo, which is also from 1927, no one can prove it or disprove it. But I like to think that if we don't know what happened to Robert Johnson's guitar, it might, never mind. Maybe. So with all that, I'm going to play you guys a Robert Johnson song. This is from um, this is from those remastered recordings that came back out in the '80s. This is called "Rambling on My Mind." Wonderful. 
This is an old Episcopalian hymn. This is called Softly and Tenderly, and there's a little thing at the end that I wrote. For those of you listening to the webcast, this song is in F sharp.
Thank you. Thank you so much. There's a, there's a wonderful place called uh, um, the Augusta Heritage Festival. Y'all heard of this? No? Really? Okay. There's a, there's a, um, in Elkins, West Virginia. I think this is probably the only time anyone is ever going to publicly recommend you go to Elkins, West Virginia. Um, no, really, there's a college, there's a, there's a Piggly Wiggly, and that's about it. There's really, there's nothing out there. Um, however, at the college, in the summer, they've got this thing called the, uh, the Augusta Heritage Music Festival. And there's different weeks. You can go for the, uh, the Hawaiian week and learn how to play Hawaiian music. You can go to the Celtic week and learn how to do, uh, uh, how to learn Celtic fiddle and also do Celtic dance. Um, truly wonderful people. And they, and they bring in these, these teachers, they bring in these, these players to teach these classes. Um, some of them are workshops, some of them are one-on-one, -on -one, some of them are clinics, and they're a lot of fun. Um, it's, a, it's a wonderful, truly wonderful festival. Happens every year. Um, but the real fun, the real fun is after all the classes are over at night, um, you go to the parking lot and take a guitar and just go jam for hours and hours and hours and hours. So I went for Blues Week a few years ago. Went for Blues Week and stayed up until about five in the morning drinking moonshine and playing guitar with, with guys in the parking lot and just hanging out and having fun. There was one guy there, there was one guy who sat down in the, the circle we were playing in and he said, hey, you know this tune? I didn't. We jammed the whole night and just bounced ideas off each other. It was a lot of fun. We knew almost all the same songs, except this one. This is from uh, this is from uh, 1928 from a guy named Dick Justice. This is uh, it's called "Won't You Be Kind." Uptown women, they got to smoke their own grass And now won't you be kind, baby, to your kitchen Oh, I'm your dining room, mama, to sweep out your pantry, baby Say now, won't you be kind, now woman, to your kitchen Keep your backyard clean I got a nickel's worth of whiskey and a dime's worth of gin I'm gonna spend a whole dollar just to look at her grin Say now, won't you be kind, baby to your kitchen, oh, I'm your dining room, mom. The sweep out your pantry, baby, to say that. Won't you be kind, I warm to your kitchen. To keep your backyard clean. Say now come on pretty mama Yes now loving you is hard Say now won't you be kind woman To your kitchen Oh I'm your dining room baby Sweep out your pantry mama Say now won't you be kind now woman To your kitchen Keep your backyard clean You be kind woman to your kitchen. Oh, I'm your dining room, mom. The sweet about your pantry, baby. And I say, won't you be kind, now woman, to your kitchen? Keep your backyard clean. Well, now won't you be kind, now baby? Yes, to your kitchen. Keep your backyard clean. Now we're going to see how well you guys can sing. 
You guys can sing, right? One yes, two no, okay, all right. There's a song my dad taught me a long time ago. What, the method I'm playing right now, this, this thing here is called a slide, for those of you guys who are not guitar literate. This is a slide and it helps, uh, uh, I guess the, the classical term is a, is a glissando. It helps to slide into notes. Um, so you can do individual notes or, or whole chords. And then you got guys like Sonny Landreth who can fret behind the slide and create suspended chords. And on the right hand, this is where it gets really tricky. These are these are called finger picks, and I'm not using a flat pick to strum. I'm using individual picks on my three fingers here and then the thumb over here. So that helps sort of articulate. <laughs> Articulate individual notes throughout the chords. For those of you guys in the back, just joining us, this is a guitar lesson. Welcome. Um, so the, uh, this style of playing comes from people who um, either were, were uh, too isolated in an area to find other musicians to play with, so they had to fill out the sound themselves, or they were too broke to afford a band. Um, so what they would do is they'd have the bass note of a, of a progression. That's a one, or you can also do a uh, alternating ones and fives, which is pretty boring by itself. So you add the uh, the treble notes on top of it. So that sort of fills out the sound, um, and then you play the melody on top of all that. And then to keep sort of a backbeat, but also fill out the low end, you have the feet going for percussion. And that's how it works. So to do all of that takes a long time, and my thank God my father had the patience to school me through it. Um, uh, but this is, the first, this is the first song that he taught me how to finger pick. It's a song called Freight Train. Uh, it's by Libby Cotton. Freight train, freight train runs 
so fast. Freight train, freight train going so fast. Please don't tell them what train I'm on, so they won't know which route I had gone. Freight train, freight train going so fast. Freight train, freight train going so fast. Please don't tell them what train I'm on, so they won't know which route I had gone. Thank you. Thanks so much. So before we uh, get in this next song, folks, I just want y'all to—I just want you guys to just turn around, do a 180, and just look behind you guys if you can. Just look. See everybody in black and see everybody wearing the red jackets. Now, these, these folks are your staff. Now, coming out here to see a show is one thing, but coming out here to work for a show is a different thing entirely. So if you guys would not mind, give the, give the staff at the Kennedy Center a hand, please. <laughs> Showing up in the ice. You guys are marvelous. Thank you. the whole water thing a little less awkward. <laughs> Feel like I broke every bone in my body My head is swimming on the shore Think of a way to make all the sound better It all just sounds like a boy I tried my best to make all this work out Looks like you had other plans I thought me and you had some good going That's before, before you up and ran Now I ain't gonna miss you I ain't gonna miss you And I'm tired of wasting my time It's a hard lesson learned Candles been burned at both ends Now I'm in full life Nothing of you left in my place Except for all the letters that you wrote I remembered every time that I wrote back to you Now my words are all shoved down my throat Oh, well, I ain't gonna miss you I ain't gonna miss you And I'm tired of wasting my time It's a hard lesson learned The candle's been burned at both ends Now I'm running full life Yep <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you. There's a great blues player uh, who actually lives in town. Um, most of the time when I, when I say the words, there's a, there's a great blues player. Um, I'm usually referring to somebody who's dead. Um, all the guys that I, I really wanted to learn from, all the guys that I, I, I bought records from, I you know, listened to almost religiously, and followed and followed and followed and slowed down the tapes. Remember tapes? Those little things? Anyway. Um, uh, most of those guys have been, have been dead for a long time. Most of those guys have been dead for you know, over 50 years. There's one guy who's still around, who's still very much around. His name is Robert Lighthouse. Have y'all heard of him? Anybody? No? A couple people. Good, good. Lighthouse is a, um, well, he's a phenomenal player. And he's um, born in Sweden and learned how to play guitar and learned how to speak English by listening to his dad's blues records. So listening to him talk is actually is, is really fun. He's got this really bizarre Swedish southern accent, which is kind of hard to figure out, but it makes sense. I know it's... Listen to the Mother Waters and listen to the Robert Johnson talk about to him, you know. Um, and I bring him up because um, I learned a lot from his playing, not directly from watching him sitting in the same, in the same room as him and you know, learning from him as a teacher, but he actually had a... Um, one of the great things about the Millennium Stage is that they, they record all of their shows. He had a concert at the Millennium Stage back in 2003, 2004, somewhere in there. Um, and he had the show on, the entire show on his website. Um, so I would come home from school when I was 16, somewhere in there, and I would watch the tape, watch the recording of him playing, and I'd just try to follow as, as best I could. Um, so really, thank you to Millennium Stage for uh, for having me for here uh, for this. This is really fun. So this is one that I learned from him. This is a, another Mississippi John Hurt song. This is called Avalon, My Hometown. Doesn't have it all in, but 
I left him alone to find I've lost my whole time, baby Oh, always on my mind I've lost my whole time, baby Sorry, Mississippi, uh, Fred McDowell. Other one. Fred McDowell is a, is a great slide player. He taught Bonnie Raitt how to play. Um, Alan Lomax is a he's an archivist, ethnomusicologist. That's a job. Um, Alan Lomax went down south in the 40s and he had a big tape recorder on his back. And uh, he was recording recording blues artists. Um, in the rural south around Parchment Farm around Mississippi. Um, everybody down there was, was telling him, go talk to Fred, go, go find Fred, go up in the hills. He found him. Um, and there's a great recording from 19, 1947. If you can find it. Um, it's, the, it's the first song Fred McDowell had ever recorded. And if you listen really close, if you listen really, really, really close, to the recording just before he plays the song as he's tuning up. You can hear him, you can hear Fred say, I sing into what there? I sing into that thing? He had never seen a microphone. That's how isolated he was. That's how isolated a lot of these guys were. There's a song I learned from his playing. This is called, uh, this is called He Done Told Everybody. Thank you. 
To mention, um, I, because I, I was I, I walked here from uh, from Columbia Heights, I neglected to bring any any CDs or uh, or physical copies of, of music with me. But if you just Google my name, you can find me online. You can download stuff and follow me on Facebook and all that. Out of curiosity, um, just as a, as a show of hands, real quick, how many guys are from the D.C. area? Okay, and how many guys are, are visiting? Okay, and, for, and, and of those, how many of you is it your first time here? Wonderful. Welcome. This is a really cool series. This is a, a really phenomenal thing the Kennedy Center uh, does every, uh, every day of the year, 365 days a year. They put on a free show. Uh, this is really, really cool. So thank you guys for being here tonight. Who was supposed to be here? Catholic University? Was it them? Okay, yeah. There is, they called me up last night and said, hey, uh... Someone's pulled. Someone's someone's can't make it. I said, sure, fine. Twist my arm, play at the Kennedy Center. Why not? You know. I'll make do. Don't tell the staff, but I used the uh, the orchestra hall over there, the uh, the concert hall for my green room earlier, just to warm up in. That's a fun little green room in there. That's fun. Um, I'll play you guys a song that I wrote at the very end of a, um, at the very at the very end of a very long uh, string of gigs that I had. Um, it's called Cheap Guitar. <laughs> Out to the songs and the stories I never can shake, like Casey Jones, John Henry, too. A little bit of here's curry wrapped up in the country blues. Oh, give me a cheap guitar and a fold to the floor, and that beat shop coming back for more. And the country walls just won't let you go. Kentucky bluegrass. Tennessee twang, it's sweetest song she ever sang. It's a whole lot of blues and a little bit of rock and roll, yeah. She packed her bag before the California sun. She's going off to the middle of nowhere out on a run. And all this time she spent trying to breathe. She said she finally figured out just what it is, baby, that I need. She said there's nothing wrong with her at all. Oh, but she's chained up, chained up, chained to a wrecking ball. Now you can run fast, you can run far. 
Oh, no matter how far away from home you run, there you are. Oh, give me a cheap guitar and a phone to the floor with that beach up coming back more and a country walk just won't let you go. Kentucky bluegrass in Tennessee twang its sweetest song she ever sang. In a whole lot of blues and a little bit of rock and roll. Yeah. Twang its sweetest song she ever sang. It's a whole lot of blues and a little bit of rock and roll. Yeah. Oh, give me a cheap guitar and a boat to the floor. Yeah. Baby, each other come back for more in the country walls. Just won't let you go. Kentucky bluegrass, the Tennessee twang its sweetest song she ever sang. It's a whole lot of blues and a little bit of rock and roll. Yeah. Well, it's a whole lot of blues and a little bit of rock and roll. Yeah. Hey, well, it's a whole lot of blues, a little bit of rock and roll. Thank you. Thank you all so much. All right, now we got time for one more song. One more song. Um, now, do you guys want to hear? Do you guys want a song you can sing along to, or one uh, that is a story? Story or sing along? Story. story. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's fine. I've, I've been singing for you know, about almost an hour now. It's totally fine. Totally fine. Don't worry about it. No. You guys have been great. Thank you so much for playing along tonight. My name is Johnny Grave. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you so much, folks. <laughs> D.C. down to New Orleans, pass through Memphis, Chicago, Illinois, right down to the Delta. I had a girl one morning, she got up singing and crying. She's leaving that train, you no, know, she's leaving. All she said was, hey, I hate to go. Oh, won't be back no more. I said, I know you hate it, babe, but you gotta pack your bags. Don't wanna be late for train time, not today. We walk on down the train depot staff. She's a train whistle blowing off in the distance. She says, Babe, is it Panama Limited? I said, No, babe, that's a local freight. She says, You sound so sure of yourself. How can you tell? I said, Well, they both both a little bit different. Local phrase, she sounds like this when coming in from the east. She said, but how about that Panama Lynn? I said, well, she sounds a little more lonesome. She sounds just like this coming out of the rails. Thank you. 
Train time was. I said, I don't know anything about train time, babe. I was trying to play this corner here and make a few dimes. And she walked off. And all she said was, all she said was, Hey, don't like the way you turn me down. Oh, I'm gonna leave you now. She walked off. I packed up my guitar, asked forgiveness for the words that I said, and I went running after. And I went running. And I went running. I spied my girl at the top of the train depot steps. I stand at the bottom. She called back to me over her left shoulder, and all she said was, It's too late, too late, too late, too late. Oh, my. I walked out to the train depot way and she asked him what time train time was. He said, babe, you don't know nothing about train time. All you gotta do is set your bags down against that platform. Walk off to the rails. Lean your head down against that cold steel rail. When you hear the rails pop and sing and hum, train time won't be long. She sets her train bags down. She walks off to the tracks. She leans her head down against that cold steel rail. And just then, just then, Panama Limited blowing 26 miles out of Memphis, Tennessee. Out of her, she sounded just like this. And she's gone everywhere but home. 